With iPad 2, we've made advances in both form and function that are so significant and far-reaching. I can't think of a product that has defined an entire category and has then been completely redesigned in such a short period of time. It's amazing to think that just a year ago, very few people had actually held an iPad in their hands. And now, with iPad in the hands of millions of consumers, it truly has become a blockbuster post-PC device. iPad 2 really builds on the success of the original iPad. It's a third thinner and up to 15% lighter. It has an all-new dual-core A5 chip, which is up to twice as fast with up to nine times the graphics performance. We built in a front-facing camera for FaceTime and photo booth and a rear-facing camera that shoots HD video. And we've been able to do all of this while still maintaining up to 10 hours of battery life. The iPad 2 really is defined by the display. There are just no distractions. By reducing what were essentially three surfaces to two, we got rid of the structural wall around the perimeter of the product and eliminated the edge. It's not only more comfortable to hold, but with the breakthroughs we've made with unibody engineering, it's rigid, sturdy, and even more precise. While the back of the product is made of durable aluminium, we wanted to figure out a way to protect the display without compromising the iPad's size and weight. So rather than developing a separate case, we created a cover at the same time that we were actually designing the iPad. The two are made to work together. It attaches magnetically, it aligns perfectly, and it's just as easy to remove. When the iPad detects you've opened the cover, it immediately wakes from sleep. And when you close the cover, it puts it back to sleep. You can also fold the cover to create a stand for typing or watching a video. And the microfiber internal lining was even designed to help keep the display clean. There are 10 colors, five in polyurethane and five in a beautiful aniline dyed leather. We're constantly working to refine and improve, to simplify, to make something thinner and lighter and yet at the same time, increasing its functionality. With an all-new front-facing camera, we brought FaceTime to the iPad. It's everything you love about video calling on the iPhone 4, but better. The big iPad display really changes the FaceTime experience. At this size, everything is so much clearer and more expressive. There's a rear-facing HD video camera, so you can share the moments you're seeing as they're happening. But FaceTime is just the beginning. We optimized the iOS to take advantage of the A5 dual core chip. And we're introducing new apps that really leverage all this processing power, like Photo Booth. It's so simple to use, and it's just ridiculously fun. With the new rear-facing HD video camera, iMovie is just a natural on the iPad. The display is so big that there's plenty of room to edit your video. And when you're done, your movies look awesome on the big, beautiful display. GarageBand is an absolute blast. You can use your own instruments, or you can just use the touch instruments that are built in. And those are integrated so well into the iPad that as you tap harder, it plays louder. It just reacts to what you're doing. When you're playing guitar, you can bend the strings. It's just amazing. You don't have to be a musician to use it. Just open it up, start tapping away, you're making music. Recently, we added new ways to share the content on your iPad. With AirPlay, you can share movies, photos, and music right to your Apple TV. And now we're adding video mirroring. Just connect your iPad to your HD TV, and it'll mirror exactly what you're doing on your iPad in any orientation and in full 1080p. We've done things with this iPad that we never could have done before. And it's because there's a lot of new innovation driving it. It starts with the new dual-core A5 chip. That's added a lot more speed to things you do every day, like surfing the web, sending email, and multitasking. In fact, it's up to twice as fast. But the place we've made the biggest jump is with graphics, with performance that's up to nine times faster. You'll really notice this in games and apps that use a lot of video. And for the first time, we've built a gyro into this iPad. That gives you very precise control in multiple dimensions, and it allows us to really measure the orientation of the iPad in space. 
These new components and features add all kinds of possibilities when it comes to apps. And even though we've boosted the performance, we haven't compromised on battery life. The new iPad still gets a full 10 hours, and that's a major achievement in a design this thin. With all that we've added to iPad 2, the thinner, lighter design, the amazing dual-core A5 chip, front and rear cameras, and the smart cover, this really is a giant leap forward. The original iPad defined a category, and I think that the iPad 2 will really define that category for years to come.